Caesar, I bring grave news. Oh, no. There's not been another slave revolt, has there? No, no, it's... <gasps> Gaul's invaded. Rome is under attack. No, 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 no. Much worse than that. <gasps> I've forgotten my Aunt Sempronia's birthday. Well, yes, but that's not the grave news. I don't know. It sounds pretty grave to me, Marcus. That woman can make a man's life hell. Well, granted, but I... Ru- should like flowers? What? Yes, I'm sure she'll love them. Flowers it is, then. Look, I rather think your aunt's birthday will pale in comparison to this grave news I have to tell you. Well, then out with it, man, and quickly. I have been trying. Caesar, I believe there is a plot afoot in Rome at this very moment. A plot to assassinate you. Me? No. You can't be serious, man. I'm afraid I am. Deadly serious. Sorry. But... But... I don't understand. How did you hear of this? Did you overhear one of my worstest enemies plotting how to poison me? Oh no, nothing that wishy-washy or vague. No, t'was written. Clear as day, in the entrails of a goat. There I was about to perform the morning sacrifice to Ceres, the goddess of protecting animals, so I naturally opened by brutally slaughtering a goat, and as I stepped forward to take my vow, I caught sight of an unusual little squiggly bit to the left of the other bit, which dangles below the ready pink bit. It seems pretty obvious to me, O Caesar, that 23 of your closest associates are planning on murdering you. Oh no, not the little squiggly pink bit. That's almost certainly 23-way murder. There's no way around this, Marcus. Hang on. You said it was today. How can you be sure it's today? Well, you remember that old beggar woman that shouted at you to beware the Ides of March? Yes, well, I'm pretty sure that's today. Or tomorrow. Or soon, at least. Yes. This is the same woman, Marcus, that last week in the forum proclaimed that hedgehogs would soon cover all of Sicily in honey and nutmeg. I hardly think we can take her word as gospel. What's gospel? No idea. This is a disaster, Marcus. I can't be killed. It's me. I know, Imperator. That's why I thought you might want to plan your escape. My escape? I imagine you want to get out of here pretty sharpish. Or maybe that's just what they want me to do. I think what they want to do with respect, Caesar, is to literally and metaphorically stab you in the back. No, I'm not convinced running away will help. Perhaps I could fend them off with my fighting skills. <laughs> How many did you say there were again? Well, judging from the goat... Naturally. 23. Damn. But, Caesar, there is one other thing. The goat's intestine spelled out the name of one of your attackers. Who was it? Brutus. Oh, no. Not Brutus as well. We went to school together, Marcus. Him and me used to throw bits of chalk at the back of Cicero's head in Greek class. I can't believe he's planning on assassinating me. I know, Emperor. I imagine this has come as quite a shock to you. You can bloody well say that again. Well, I'm glad you warned me, Marcus. I'd have been at a, a loss for words otherwise. But now, I can work on something devastatingly witty to say to him in the moment. What did you have in mind? Um. Uh, Sod off, Brutus! (laughs) I think we'll work on it.